Good afternoon, folks. Welcome back to another episode of Shop Talk with Brett. Uh, as you saw yesterday, we did an unboxing video of this Vivor 3-liter ultrasonic digital ultrasonic cleaner. And today, we're going to do a test run and see what this thing's all about. Now, I had already prepped this thing prior to coming on camera. Because, like I said, I wanted to get it ready. But what we're going to test it with, we've got a couple saw chains here that we're going to test it on. I, Like I said, I don't have any carburetors. And that uh, channel lock I showed you yesterday, I think the way about that is evaporust. But anyway, you can see this chain here. She's a little funky. And so is that one. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually see what it does. Like I said, I've got hot water in there and Dawn dish soap. So we're going to set the basket in here right now, just like so. That side, that side. Now we're going to lay these uh, chains in here. Put one here. Put one here, just like so. They're submerged. Now, I'm going to come back to the back of the unit. Hopefully, I don't get shocked doing this. We're going to flip the power switch to on. We've got a beep. We've got the set temperature right now at 50. And it's actually 51. The ultrasonic is set at 15 minutes default. And if we go with the button here, we're going to go down. Let's try it for 10 minutes. And right now we're at our set temperature. And we'll turn the heater on. The heat is now on. That light will, will uh, yeah, we got, there we go. When it's flashing, it's on. We're 10 minutes on the ultrasonic. So let's turn this thing on. I don't know whether to jump or what, but here we go. And as you can see already, look. Now, like I said, it's probably going to distort the camera. As most of the videos I've seen on YouTube, they do. Yeah, you can actually see this working. So what we're going to do, let's cover that up. And we'll come back to this in about a minute or so before this is done. And we'll just see what the results are. Stay with us. Okay, folks. We've got about 27 seconds left here. And uh, I was expecting this to be louder. Although I'll know when I come back and review the footage on the uh, thing. We bumped the temperature up to 60 degrees. I kind of did it at the last minute. We're already at 53. Now, mind you, I started out, the water that I put in here was already at 50 Celsius. You could do the conversion. Three, should you shut off. And there we go. There's your dinner. Okay, let's open up the lid and see what she looks like. Now, you saw what that water looked like before I started this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's get this thing out of here. Carefully. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to pause. And I'm going to pull this out of there because I need both hands. Okay. So hold on. I got to lift it out of there. Yeah, look down in there. You can't, that, that water, you can't even see to the bottom of that tank now. But anyway, let's look at the chains themselves here. 
This was the one that was pretty nasty. And yeah, I mean, there's still a little bit on that. But then again, I only gave this uh, 10 minutes in the machine here. Now, had I have had that water all the way heated up, yeah, that came out good. Okay, let's now let's look at the second chain. And chain number two. Oh, yeah. That come out real good. Look at that. Look at the drive links on that. That is shiny. And then like, I, like I said, I only did that for 10 minutes. This is just a test. Now, had that have been, you know, hotter water and had I run that longer, that probably worked with even better. But just that little indication there, when you saw when I started that, how instantly dark that water turned right off the get-go. That did pretty good. Um, let me pause for a second. I'm going to dump this out and wipe it out, and uh, we're going to give our final thoughts. Stay with us. Okay, folks, we got her all cleaned out and wiped out and everything, ready to go. Uh, did a pretty good job on those chains. Like I said, I've really never messed with one of these hands-on before, so like I said, I'm just learning. But uh, for what that little bit of time did, that was only a 10-minute run, and I didn't have it super hot, and I just used the Dawn with water. Um, I don't think this thing really holds true three liters, because that's a gallon jug, and I had it filled, and it took about two-thirds of that, but it, it did what it needed to do. And uh, my thoughts on it, you know, yeah, it sounds annoying, but what ultrasonic cleaner doesn't? But I was expecting it to be louder, but hey, the sound isn't, the, the actual, what it sounds like to us isn't, isn't, isn't what does the work. Um, but it did good. I don't know what the audio is going to be like till I get in here and edit the video. But anyway, my thoughts on this machine, so far it's so good, I'll know more as I use it. But, uh, yeah, for the price, it's not bad. I will give it, I will give it a thumbs up. Uh, the previous video, the unboxing video, there is a link in this, in that, in that uh, description for that first video, uh, where you could purchase this from Amazon. And as I said in that video, um, I'm not affiliated with vivor uh and i don't get any commission for the link it's just my experience so check it out uh a couple shout outs to a couple channel friends of mine arches garage uh also a shout out to ken from ken small engines uh bruce pender bruce's shop uh brock from lewis moors and boats and uh yeah uh, and you might want to check out their live streams. Uh, Arch's Garage, he does one Saturday nights. Usually starts about 8, 8.30 uh, Eastern time. Goes to usually around 11 or so. And it's a pretty fun time. And small uh, Ken Small Engine, he does one uh, every Saturday at 2 o'clock. And it goes for a couple hours anyway. A lot of the... Small engine people come up there. They go on panel. We chat and we swap ideas. Uh, also, check out uh, the lawnmower lady as well. She has a very good channel too, so you want to check her out. Anyway, i got to get inside. I've got to go do a grocery order. I've got to run the vacuum in there and do a couple other things that I should have done yesterday but didn't, but I'm going to do them today. So everybody enjoy this video. Feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, any tips on ultrasonic cleaning, leave them in the comments below, but please keep the comments respectable. Remember, this is a family channel. Anyway, folks, enjoy your Sunday. Most importantly, let's put our trust in God, and we'll talk on the next video. Shop Talk with Brett signing out. We'll see you soon.